Hey yo fam, what's up? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day because I am. <laughs> he moved! <gasps> Who this? Who that? I know you guys miss me with my story time, stop it. Okay. Lipstick emergency! Let me just fix my lipstick because y'all already know. Back to this video. <laughs> So before I actually start the video, you guys need to understand the background, you know, like the background of the story. <laughs> Anyways, I have you Who loves me? Today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about a story that happened two years ago that is still paining me. Whatever, you know, it is what it is. From 2014 to 15, I transitioned to a French system for the first time and it was really hard. Not because I couldn't speak French, but because it was confusing and I wasn't used to the system. And my dad decided to, you know, hire a home teacher because he realized that I was struggling a lot. What I hate about home teachers is the fact that they never come at the right time. They always come when you're watching your show, always come to piss you off and they always leave with a bunch of homework to do. Why? Let me tell you something. You home teachers, you cannot just come when the sun is too hot because when the sun is too hot, I can't study and I'm not focused. You can't come when I'm watching my show because when I'm watching my show, it's a me, me time. Me and me time. I say no to that. And third of all, you do not dare leave me with homework because I already have too many things to do with school and I can't deal with your homework too. Last but not least, don't be a snitch. Your home teachers snitch too damn much. You know what? Let's actually dive in my story. Oh, you get it? Dive in my story. I swear on the light I had issues. That's not even where I want to get with the story. So fast forward, there was a period of time in February, I think February, March 2015 that I wasn't feeling well. During that month of February, I was going through a lot of shit. I was sick, I was vomiting, I was puking and my period was just messing me up. Why? Now I'm coming to the real story, so I want you guys to sit tight and laugh at my pain because you can and because why not? Every time when my home teacher will come, I'll tell him that I can't really study with him. Not because I don't want to, even though I really don't want to, but then because I was really sick and I was sleeping a lot. He reached to a point where he actually told my dad. You see, you home teachers are just wicked. So he told my dad that every time when he comes, then I always, you know, create excuses that I wouldn't study with him and stuff like that. Your home teachers are snitches and I swear, snitches bring stitches. So that day when I came back home, I was tired, I was sleeping. All I wanted to do, I swear on the light the Lord created was just sleep. You know, I didn't want to fuck with anyone. I didn't want anyone to tempt me. I was to an extent where I was like, bitch. So 6 p.m., I hear my brother, you know, knocking the fuck out of my door. Do, 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 do. So when my brother came in, I was like, oh my God. He's like, Grace, Grace. I was like, what is happening? What is it? He's like, Grace, you're fucked. And I was like, like, what do you mean I'm fucked? Like, <laughs> he's like, Grace, the parents are calling you downstairs. When my brother told me that I was fucking confused, I was like, what is happening? Why are they calling me? Jesus. But I started questioning my existence, my trust. Then my brother left. I didn't really take him seriously. So I was like, you know what? Let me just, you know, catch up my sleep. Like, you know, like, yo, if I knew, I wouldn't do that. Next thing I know, I hear my mom calling my government name. <laughs> So after I heard that, my sleep suddenly disappeared, my heart started racing twice and I was confused as fuck. You know what, I'm not even going to explain you what happened. I'm going to show you. Check. Good afternoon, mom. What is good about the afternoon? Good afternoon, dad. Good afternoon. What is happening, bitch? You and the home teacher because lately he told me that it's been three weeks, three weeks that you guys are not studying together. He also told me that whenever he comes, he always like, oh, you're tired, oh, you're vomiting, oh, you need some sleep. So I want you to explain yourself, young lady. I'm listening. I mean, nothing has been happening. It's just that lately I don't really feel well. I'm really sick. If you don't feel well, why don't you come and talk to me? Why don't you talk to me or your mother? You know we're both doctors. What is wrong with you? So you wanna die in my roof? Daddy, I know you're a doctor. It's just that I thought I could handle it because sometimes she goes and sometimes she comes back. Are you pregnant? Ah, mommy, what makes you say that? I am not pregnant. I don't think I am. I knew you were a stubborn child. You see, every time you ask me parties, parties to different people, to yes, Jesus, my heart. Now you are bringing balance. You guys will kill me in this house, eh? Huh? I did not kill my mother, so you will not kill me. <laughs> so you're telling me you have pregnant symptoms, but you're not pregnant. <laughs> I was so disappointed by my dad because he actually thought I was pregnant and I was like, I wasn't pregnant, you know. He's a doctor, he should know better. He should... 
So that day I actually got a free slap for no good reason and until now when I think about that it actually hurts mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually. Here I don't know what a free slap is from an African parent. They don't joke. Because until now they never apologize. And that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed that story time as much as I did making it. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day because I'm about to. Oh remember you haven't been gracious enough until you've thumbed up and subscribed. So don't forget to show some love to your girl because it will be highly appreciated in my life. Do you know how much money we give to that guy? Do you know? Bitch, the accent keeps coming back. <laughs>